Welcome back everyone, it is Eric from Eric Candy, and today we are back on PTCGO, finally now that Lost Origin is out, and we're gonna be checking out the brand new Trevenant from Lost Origin, and today's video is actually brought to you at the request of one of Rare Candy's patrons, Juan Garces, over on patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. Juan wanted to see the new Trevenant here, and this is actually a card that I think some players might initially overlook. You know, it's a single prize stage one Pokemon, so these things typically aren't the greatest, but I think Trevenant here actually has a really solid ability. It says, if this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from your opponent's Pokemon V, your opponent can't take any prize cards for it, which is great since most of the format is run by Pokemon V Star, you know, and V Max. And then Trevenant does have an attack for two grass and a colorist does 150, and it can't attack during your next turn which not a big deal. More than likely, you're just going to get return KO'd, but at least you don't give up a prize in the process. So this is the card we are trying to go all in on and build around today. And before we get any deeper into this video, if you guys can, remember to leave a like on the video to feed that always hungry YouTube algorithm. And if you need any cards to complete this Trevenant deck for yourself, you can check out our friends over at ptcgostore.com. Just remember to use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to make sure you get a discount on your order too. And Rare Candy's patrons not only had early access to an earlier version of this list, but also have their own exclusive discount code for even bigger savings. Links to everything will be down below in the description. But let's jump back into our list for just a minute here. As you can see, the Trevenant does have that pesky three energy attack cost. So we do need a way to get around that. We are choosing to power it up with Cherum. This can be the one from Battle Styles that allows us to attach any amount of grass energy from hand to our Pokemon as long as it doesn't have a rule box. So. Every time we want to get one of these set up, we can attach one for turn and accelerate the other two with our Cherim. But we do need some help getting this whole strategy up and running. And as you can see, we're also playing a 2-2 Barrel line in the deck for that industrious incisors ability. So this, of course, can allow us to refill our hand up to five every turn. I think you could also choose to play something like Eldegoss. I think it feels kind of a similar role, since if you need energy, Eldegoss can grab this for you. Babero is going to be trying to do something similar a lot of the time. But I opted to go the Babero route just because it's a little bit more, you know, flexible. If we need a supporter, this can bail us out of a dead hand. If we need Pokemon, Babero can get us into that. So that's why I am leaning, you know, this way instead of the Eldegoss route. And even though Trevenant is our main attacker, we do have one other Pokemon I did opt to include. That's gonna be Tapu Bulu for the Nature's Judgment attack. We can discard all energy attached to it and it does 160. And the reason we're playing this is because if our opponent does decide to attack us with something like an Inteleon, for example, well, they can get a prize for knocking us out and we can't one-shot it back. So we need a way of being able to get around Inteleon and some of those other one prize attackers out there. And then the only other Pokemon, of course, just a copy of Manaphy to protect our bench against things like Radiant Greninja, uh, you know, to get easy prizes on our bench. So looking at the rest of our deck, not a whole lot of bells and whistles, you know, just plenty of ways at drawing cards with Cynthia's Marnies and Research, plenty of ball search cards to search out our Pokemon. As you can see that we do have the three Ordinary Rod, leaning a little bit more heavy on Ordinary Rod for this list, just because we do need a lot of energy throughout the game. And, you know, Trevenants, you know, we're going to need quite a few of these. Like, even if our opponent isn't taking prizes, they can actually win still by just running us out of resources. So we do need, I think, like one extra recovery card just to make sure we always have these Trevenants to keep attacking every turn of the game. Uh, we have just one copy of Air Balloon just as a free retreating option. And we have two copies of Choice Belt as well to fix our math against Pokemon V Max out there because with 150 damage, we're like just shy of a two shot and Choice Belt can kind of help us out a little bit there. And looking over at our energy, we have the nine copies of Grass Energy and two copies of Capture Energy just to help find our basics a little bit better. So that is gonna be the list we are trying out today. Like I said earlier, big shout out to Juan for requesting this deck. And if you guys wanna have your request heard, I will have a link down below to the Rare Candy Patreon where you can learn about that and help support the channel in the process. But I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's get in some games and see if we can win today with the Trevenant deck. Alrighty, so we do get to go first, but our hand is trash. <laughs> hand is absolute trash. Um, I guess we'll lead with Phantom. Assuming they don't knock us out, we have like a decent turn too, but we're not gonna have anything after this attack. We're going against Malamar, are you kidding me, bro? So this might be a tough one. I think really whoever takes the first KO here is 
more than likely going to win. Ugh. This is so bad. Now, we will play the turf field. We just need to thin at this point. That's kind of the issue we have right now. So we'll just grab a Trevenant for next turn and just pass to our opponent. Now, if they Marnius, that'd be great. I don't think they're going to. The Malmore deck usually doesn't play, uh, you know, a very heavy Marnie count or anything. But I would not turn down a little bit of hand disruption right now because this hand is absolute doo-doo butter. But, you know, we thin the Trevenant out, so maybe that'll get us into, like, a research or something. That would be amazing. Or, at the very least, another Phantom would be great just to be able to... You know, potentially still have a turn three attack. Because right now we're still going to get a knockout turn two. That's great. It's just beyond our turn two. Things could get pretty dicey for us. And like I said, whoever takes the first KO usually is going to win, assuming no one whiffs. But if we start whiffing an attack afterwards, you know, our opponent at that point is going to be one turn ahead. And their deck is probably more consistent. Okay, but they do, or we do top deck a level ball. That is amazing. So we are going to be guaranteed, well, not guaranteed a turn three attack, but um, we will at least have an attack for this turn. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we're going to keep thinning. You know, if we do have to research a Trevenant away, that's not going to be too fun, but, you know, we got to make do with what we have here. We just need to make sure we can draw into some sort of draw supporter for the next turn. Um, and I'm going to leave that other energy in hand. No reason to play it down. And just go for the Giga Impact here. Okay, so what do we get off the prizes? We get Cherum Trash. Okay, so it's not really what I want to see. We really need a supporter. Because we're not going to be able to get an attack off otherwise. Yeah, so we're in a bad spot here. Okay, there's Cynthia's. Kind of saw that coming. Be nice to have one of those for ourselves. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we see the Octillery. We see the Spiral. Or not Spiral Energy. Is it? Yeah, Spiral Energy. They only need three Pokemon or three Rapid Strike cards to knock us out as well. So this seems like an easy KO for them. Um, this is going to be a huge top deck. Honestly, we probably will lose the entire game if we don't top deck a supporter here because they played the Inteleon engine, they can draw pretty much anything they want at any given point. So it's gonna be a lot easier for them to close out this game than us. Because we need a lot of resources every time we want to attack. We need a new stage one with three energy every turn. So right now, I think we are kind of unfavored even though we took the first KO in this match. So we'll have to see what they're gonna grab here. I mean, they have their attachment. They have another Inkay for next turn. Okay, they're just going to grab a Malamar, probably to shuffle back in with the attack here. So, of course, does 40 for each Rap Strike card. They shuffle from hand back in deck. And we only have the 120 HP. And this would be, this would be an instance where 130 would be really good because that would force them to have another uh, card to shuffle back. But... Yeah, what they do is almost kind of irrelevant. We're like really just playing a game of solitaire at this point because nothing they do is really going to impact like what we do on our turn. So we got to cross our fingers here. Big top deck. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. All right. So we're back in the game. Barely. We are going to have to get rid of a Trevenant, which is a bit of a bummer, but we have three Ordinary Rod in this list, so shouldn't be a huge deal. So we need two more energy and another Pokemon this turn. Ugh. Not really what you want to see. I think we lose, if I'm being honest, guys. Man, we almost made a comeback. Well, I guess I'll play it out. I don't think things are looking good for us, but, you know, we'll see what happens, I suppose. So we'll do this. Definitely play Ornay Rod. I think we'll just do this for the moment. Okay, we'll get down. We'll go for Turf Field. Grab Trevenant.
And we don't really have anything for our next turn either. So this whole sort of situation is just kind of a big feels bad. Um, now we could retreat, which I probably will do still. That way we can keep some energy in play. So we'll just get rid of the capture energy. And pass over to our opponent. So our opponent is going to take the lead this turn. And now it's just kind of a bad spot to be in. <sighs> because we have no way at drawing cards on our next turn. We have no way at searching out the barrel. I mean, getting down Bidoof is good because that makes like the four evolution incense in our deck live at this point. So that's good. So there's the Inteleon. Would not be surprised if we did see a boss this turn. But honestly, they don't even have to boss to win this game. They just need to make sure they take a knockout every turn. And if they do, they're going to win. Okay, there's going to be boss. What are they actually going to target down here, though? That's the next question. So there's the net. Probably pick up Inteleon. That seems good. So I guess they actually... Well, I was going to say they could knock out Cherim, but we'd still be threatening another Cherim on the next turn. Like, if they go boss Cherim, bump the stadium, that feels pretty bad for us. Because then it's a lot less likely we can get off an attack on this next turn. So, yet again, we are back in top deck mode, just trying to rely on something to get going here. Alrighty, so they're going to knock out Truby. We just have to sacrifice, not sacrifice, but just promote Trevenant because we can't afford to whiff. Like, if we whiff a supporter here, we might as well just concede. Or like a barrel or something. Okay. So we're getting strung along here. Like, I feel like the PTCGO gods are like giving us just enough hope to where I don't just concede this match. But like, it's still not going well enough to where we'll probably end up winning. Um, do we go for the ornate ride now? I guess we can. It's probably fine. So we'll do both. Uh, I just really want the Trevenant. Don't really care about any of those others at this point. And just get the grass energy. That's cool. Oh, no. What we could have done, actually, we could have maybe gotten back Cherim and turfield it back out to be able to use quick ball that actually might have been kind of good but no worries we're just gonna go for the morning hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us okay we do finally get the barrel this turn and we have our grass energy okay so we are going to be able to start to stabilize a little bit at this point let's see this is like part of the the issue of having to run three different stage ones to get your core strategy to work you run into like weird like situations like this where you don't have a lot going on. All right, so I think we want another Phantom. I feel like that's the big thing we want to see here. Uh, okay, that's not going to, to do it for us. No worries, we still have another Trevenant left, so not a huge deal. It's just more of like a, a bonus I would have liked to have seen. All right, so let's get a prize. We get Trevenant and God, this hand is going to be so bad on this next turn. So, yeah, I thought about changing an Evolution Incense to an Ultra Ball, and that would actually be good in these sorts of situations to play down our hand a little bit better. But we'll see what's going to happen. I still think our opponent probably still ends up just winning, though. They've only burned one Rescue here. They don't really have a lot of resources in the discard pile. So I'd be willing to bet they can, that they're gonna be able to probably close out this game. We don't want that, but I think that's what's likely here. They have a one energy attacker, we have a three energy attacker. They have an Inteleon engine, we don't. They have, well, they have Inteleon and Octillery, whereas we're over here just like in top deck mode, just praying to hit supporters. 
okay, so there's gonna be net. Now they do need another Inke. Well, they also need Malamar and a Spiral Energy or Psychic Energy, but can they get there? Okay, there's Malamar. So they're one piece of the puzzle closer. They just need energy and a replacement Inke. Okay, there's the Rapid Strike Tentacles. So they're gonna have to play down their hand to just the single card, but that's okay. They're not too worried about the single card they have left in hand. It's either gonna be a way to draw cards or Intelli or, or Octillery can still just draw them cards. So yet again, we have to just promote Trevenant and hope we hit what we need off of this top deck. I mean, level is nice, I guess. So yeah, we'll do this. Get Trevenant and Phantom back. Definitely our two grass energy. Oops, not Truby, you are trash. We don't want you. Okay, there's gonna be Phantom. We just have to play down our hand and hopefully we can hit a draw supporter here off of this Babero. Okay, yet again, we're like hanging in there, guys. So I think I'm actually going to use turf field as well. Just do thin a little bit to make sure we hit energy. Because that's the big thing we really need here this turn. Uh, okay. We'll get no energy and we'll just lose. Cool. All right. Well played, Omi. You got this one. Okay. So this hand's not the best in the world. I'm not going to lie to you. Like we are... Oh, Leafeon. Interesting. So this could be a Leafeon deck, but it also could be Giratina. We'll have to see. Uh, we're kind of hoping it's not Giratina because if they can get Kramerant set up, we just kind of lose. <laughs> okay, the attachment to Leafeon uh, in the greening cells. So it seems like they did not have a lot going on. Ooh, why did we put down Turf Field? We just gave them an access to uh, their Leafeon VMAX or V-Star. That feels bad. Ugh. So I'm actually just going to use the turf field. We're just going to grab Trevenant, put it at the bottom of our deck here. And I think I'm actually going to belt this Barrel as well. It's probably going to get knocked out. So and we don't need belt for the math to fix our math on this thing. Okay, we can live with this. Okay, we have Cherubi. And we can get two more cards here with Industrious. Hopefully we can get another basic or something. Okay. That's cool. Get rid of boss. I think I'm actually just going to go for another Bidoof. Ooh, no, we are out of the barrel. If they have boss, grabbing Truby doesn't matter because then they would just boss Phantom. If we... I guess we just go for Phantom again. Well, if we hit a rod, we can get the barrel back. So let's just do this and pass. So again, kind of a bummer we gave them the turf yield. Wasn't thinking very clearly on that one, guys. But let's see what they have here. There's gonna be a level wall. I'm assuming a Soddle. Yeah, makes sense here. Okay, so it seems like it's going to be Leafy on VMAX. Deck we've not seen too much of in a long time, actually. Okay, for some reason I was thinking this was going to be Leafy on V-Star. For whatever reason, it seemed more likely that's what we were going to run into here. So let's see. Let's go for... Let's just promote the Phantom. We're just going to say we're going to draw what we need here. Okay, that's a good start. Now, I'm like hesitant to attach because if we hit Capture Energy, I would rather attach that than accelerate this with Cherum. But we have to do what we have to do here. I think we're just going to play it down. We need a lot. So let's see. And we did not really get what we wanted here. Um, I think we still evolve. Well, 
Actually, I think we're gonna let them knock out this this phantom because I want to save Rod for one the barrel and then probably to get this phantom back. I don't want to sacrifice the Trevenant. I think we can afford to lose one more Pokemon in this way. And from there, we'll just pass. Tool Jammer. Okay, that feels bad. Um, now, I will say we actually might need Bulu at some point to finish off this Leafeon because right now we're not two-shotting it. Oh, but they're going to go for the boss. Okay, we might have gotten a little bit lucky. Again, I was playing earlier in the game assuming we were going against Leafeon V-Star. And we... Well... I guess the belt doesn't matter because we don't have a way to remove Tool Jammer. So I guess either way, it's kind of a, a moot point. Okay, that's decent. All right, so we'll accelerate in energy here. Definitely good for Ornery Ride. Uh, we'll just do this. And just research. So we need energy. Okay, and we do get there. Cool. Okay, we're starting to stabilize a little bit. We got, we even have level ball to re bench our Bidoof here. Go for level ball, grab our other Cherim as well. And yeah, we're starting to stabilize a little bit. We have draw support for next turn. We have energy to attack this turn. We have Rod to get back this Trevenant. So, you know, we're doing okay. Even though we're not going to be able to two-shot the Sleepy on VMAX, it's fine given that we don't give up any prizes in the process. Now, of course, they can still boss around us, which definitely wouldn't be much fun. They could knock out... Okay, there's going to be Scrapper. Don't really care about that. Um, so if they do have boss... Okay, but they're just going to choose to knock out our Trepin, which I think is fine. I think, you know, they're still running us out of resources in theory. So let's go ahead and promote this guy. Okay, evolution intense. Definitely gonna go for it, but barrel over here. Rod, get back these guys. Get back our energy. I think we'll actually use the barrel here as well, since we have kind of a low hand size here. Okay. 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 So that got us some more burnable cards. We still need two more energy. That's like the one thing that's kind of sketchy. Like trying to Marnie into two energy seems kind of unlikely. Fingers crossed though guys, big Marnie. We need these two energy. And we do get there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Okay. So we got the Spring Bloom, and we even have Capture Energy to get down under Phantom. So we're feeling pretty good. And from there, we'll just go for the Giga Impact. And right now, they don't have a whole lot going on now. They could bench a Leafeon V, which is really all they need this turn. Yeah, uh, maybe an Energy to go along with it. I think that's the only other card they really want to see here, unless they have Raihan. Okay, there's going to be Capture Energy, though. Shaman, okay. Not a card we see too often, so Revenge Blast could be, you know, pretty heavy hitting in the late game there, though we don't really care about Shaman's damage. Now, if they're playing Water Energy to attack with Inteleon, that would feel bad. That's what we don't want to see here. Now, I'm kind of hoping we see a boss this turn. That's what I want to see. I want to save this energy on Trevenant because it's such a pain having to dig for three energy every time you want to attack with a new attacker here. But we're... Drawing through our deck pretty well at this point, but there is going to be the boss. So that is what I am ecstatic to see. Going to chase down Babero. I'm cool with that. We're going to get another repeat use out of this Trevenant, and this gives us an extra turn to find some additional energy for our next attack or two. Okay, there's Evolution Incense. There, let's see what we have here in their discard pile. They really haven't played a whole lot, if I'm being honest, but they are down two boss, so that's good. All right, and now we're about to tie up the game. Uh, we have Truby. We don't really want to play that. There's honestly not a whole lot. Um, 
don't think there's anything in particular we want this turn. I think we're just going to Cynthia. It seems like a decent turn for that. Uh, we can get down Trevenant. That's cool. I don't want to get rid of Gower Mine until we actually need to retreat. So I think we're just going to go for the Giga Impact here. All right, so three prizes, Quick Ball, Research, and Quick Ball. Okay, not really what I want to see. I need energy. That's what we are looking for at this point. We're down two Rod. Okay, so we do have another one left in deck. And this might even be a decent turn to bench Bulu, if I'm being honest, because like putting down Bulu kind of threatens game on the next turn. Okay, there's Inteleon. So the other question, like I said, is do they play Water Energy? Because that could definitely shift things in their favor a bit. Or if they have Boss, I would actually be totally cool with another Boss play on their part. That would be best case scenario because we really just want to like keep making use of these energies that we already have in play. So probably see an Evolution Intense to get them uh, Leafeon VMAX. Okay, and energy search to attack. Okay, so that works still. So we do have to probably watch out for Roxanne. That's another card that could be bad for us, especially since we no longer have our Babarel in play. So I am kind of worried about that, but there's Marnie. Ugh. I was looking forward to dumping that entire hand with research, but okay. Okay, we can live with this, guys. Now, this is going to be our last boss, so... Hmm. Okay, Phantom, we can get that down, I suppose. But man, that Marnie was insane. Because all of our draw supports, I think, just went to the bottom of our deck. So we had, I think, a Marnie and two research... So if I remember correctly, I think we have, I think we have one research that's not at the bottom of our deck. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this Marnie might have just put them back in the game like severely here. So we're just gonna go for the Giga Impact and I'm gonna save this boss because we might have to go for a defensive boss play on this next turn if if we can't draw out of this funk that we're in over here. I don't think they've really used any switching cards either. Oh, speak of the devil. Okay, there's going to be a switch. So maybe they're switching to be able to use in uh, a scoop up net here. Okay, there's going to be another boss hitting the bin. So they're probably out of boss at this point if I had to guess. Cheryl is down. That's good. Hopefully they don't play Pal Pad. Ooh, now the quick shooting Inteleon is a bit of a pain because we do start to draw dead. They might be able to cheat an additional prize with this at some point, which would be really bad for us. So having this Phantom in play, it's unevolved, is pretty sketchy. How many Marnies are they down at this point? Two. I'm really hoping this last card in their hand is going to be a Marnie. That would be amazing because right now our hand is trash. Completely unplayable. Okay. Um. Sure, we'll spring bloom over here. And pass, I guess. Now they have a one card hand. Hopefully it's actually not a support. That would actually be... That's actually probably what we don't want to see. Because now, since they didn't scoop up net, we can actually go boss... Well, not KO, but we can boss this thing if we want to. But there's research. Okay. How many Gower Mines were they down? That's another thing I'm wondering about. Ooh. Just the one? How? They have six cards left in deck, but this is the only one we've seen so far. 
Huh. How many energy are they down? They got four in play. I want to pass over to us. Okay. Okay, next question is, do we boss this turn? How many switch have they used? I think just the one. I would be willing to bet they play another one, though. How many scoop up nets have they used? None. Maybe they're not playing net, if that's the case. I think maybe we target this thing down this turn. But if they... If they switch into this, that feels bad. I think we just have to pass yet again. Well... We may as well Giga Impact, either way. Because if we get knocked out, we would at least want the damage on the field. Okay, they are going to knock out Phantom. That is a bummer. But, again, I think they're out of boss's order. So I think we're probably safe in that regard, at least. Oh my god, I forgot about Shaman's V-Star power. I forgot this was a card. Uh, so they can heal on 20 from each of their bench grass Pokemon. Are you kidding me, bro? Well, that's annoying. Well, actually, probably not as bad as I'm, I'm saying because we had to two-shot this thing either way. Okay, there's going to be another boss. Okay, they're not going to chair him. Perfect. Best case scenario. Wait, was that a fourth boss? Okay, they're playing the full four... Poor boss. That seems kind of questionable, but hey, uh, we will take it. Oh, I see what they did. They went down to 120, and then they healed 30 with this thing as well. Okay, that feels bad. So, what I think we're going to do... We're going to bring this thing up. They've played two Switch. I'm going to bet that they're not playing another one. We're betting that we can trap this thing. Okay, there's the attachment. How much energy do they have? What, one, three, six, seven, eight. I feel like they shouldn't have any more. Well, how many captures do they have? Uh, they probably still have capture energy left in deck. So grab Cherubi. And we'll just research this thing away. Now, we have Bulu, but we don't have the energy to go with it. That's the issue we have here. Okay, so. We'll do both. Do Phantom. And what a Bidoof at this point. I guess that's fine. Our deck is so thin, we probably don't need the Bidoof, but... <laughs> yeah, I definitely shouldn't have gotten that. I, f I forgot we our other Barrel was prized. So I think we just, what, in case of a rock sand, we get this down. We have not played our, our air balloon. I'm pretty sure that is still in deck. So I think we're just going to pass. How much energy do we have left? So three, five, six, seven. So we should have four left. Assuming we didn't prize any, I should have checked on that as well. So we're just going to pass. Because what we can do is, if this thing is still stuck, and we have enough energy in deck, we can just 
dump our whole hand here, draw every card in our deck with the research and just knock this thing out. That's the game plan, I think. Okay, there's scoop up net. So if they have another switching card still left somehow in their deck, that would be bad for us because we really want this thing stuck. And it passed us. Okay. All right, guys. So let's double check, make sure we have what we need here. Okay, we have Trevenant. Oh, bruh. So we actually can't do what we want. Okay, we can still just attack this thing. Oh, but if they have another Inteleon, we would actually just lose because they can go double quick shooting, knock out Cherim. So this feels kind of bad. Do we Marnie them just in case they have that play? I'm going to say yeah, just in case. And we'll just go for the Giga Impact. So now we need one more turn where they can't move this Leafy on, and we will have game. We need them to not have Switch, and we need them to not have Inteleon or the Net to go with this thing. Uh, and they have the second quick shooting in Teleon. Jesus Christ. All right. Is what it is, guys. They got us. If we had just one extra energy in deck. We could have had game that last turn, but... <sighs> feels bad, guys. All right, guys. That's going to do it today for the Trident deck. I will have to say I am a little bit bummed about this one. I was actually really looking forward to trying this thing out because it's one of the few new single prize decks that... I think had a little bit of hope after the set came out, but so far out of all my testing and all the games that you saw today, it's been a little bit, I think, too inconsistent for I think it to be able to catch on. Uh, you know, maybe in the future things will change, but right now it's probably not this deck's, you know, best time to shine just yet. But either way, I really do appreciate Juan for submitting his request to see this thing on the channel today. So if you guys wanna have a bigger say over the content that comes out on the channel and help support it in the process, I'll have a link down below in the description to the Rare Candy Patreon where you guys can put in your request for decks to appear on the channel. But that being said, I hope you guys still enjoyed a look at this Trevenant deck. As always, remember to leave a like on the video. And like I said, if you are feeling a little bit extra generous, you can always become a patron or pick up some merch at rarecandytcg.com. Links to everything, like I said, is down below in the description. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.